Hello there, we've got that Friday feeling. Let's get stuck in with stories like this one. When you're the presenters of a show about dancing, you get to show off moves like the Charleston. But apart from learning new steps, what did these guys get up to behind the set? Hi guys, so what's it like being in the children's jury? What we do is we watch foreign movies, um, some of them are Irish. This exhibition is full of scientists and engineers of the future. There's just so many wacky and wonderful projects to look at. I'm not even sure where to start, so maybe let's go this way. No, this way. No, this way. <laughs> Many Irish teenagers aren't getting enough exercise and this has become a worrying trend. Halloween costumes can be scarier than imagined. This is an exciting time of year for children, but there are some safety issues we all need to be aware of. The National Standards Authority of Ireland is encouraging parents and children to start checking for something called a CE mark before buying costumes and decorations. An apostle in Gwels Gothfadric, a glock apart, a fela litriacta agus alin imram the nog. Agus inish tosi bijasla tena nish. I know, I know, they make badminton look so easy. But getting points is harder than it looks. I'll get you to do that. <laughs> On the Leinster badminton team are six boys and six girls. We're doing things a little bit different this time because we want you to give us a question. In less than two weeks' time, adults in Ireland will vote for the person they want to be the country's next president. So it's time for you to be curious. What do you want to know about the role of the president? Today we're joined in studio by first-time filmmakers Dylan Brothers and Amina Shagrani. So Amina, can you tell us a bit more about the film? Uh, yeah, so we're a group from Screen 8 and we made a short documentary on homelessness called No Place Like Home. Sadly, 42 people have died from the wildfire in Northern California and more than 228 people are still missing. The US President Donald Trump has declared it a major disaster. 10,000 new social homes will be provided next year, with an extra 30 million euro promised to tackle homelessness. 17 billion euro is going towards health. This is the highest ever amount given to the sector. For some children, it's hard to understand what it's like to be blind. People with the visual impairment are not able to see clearly or at all. Today is a very important day in Britain. Members of Parliament who are like RTDs will vote on whether to say yes or no to a deal on Brexit. Brexit means that Britain is exiting or leaving the European Union. British Prime Minister Theresa May and the EU have agreed a Brexit deal called the Withdrawal Agreement. And that's all we have time for today. But not to worry though, we'll do it all again tomorrow. Until then, enjoy your evening. Bye.